Hello YouTube, and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So we're going to make this tutorial really short, because it's all it really needs to be for now. But we're going to actually bug fix a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to bug fix is make sure our missiles work. Because at the moment they don't. So we fire, and it fires. So press number 2 and fire, it fires again. But if we press the 3 to fire a missile and fire, we get an error. And what the error is basically saying is... Is it doesn't doesn't understand what our missile spawn point is because it doesn't add it because it's not part of the weapon spawn point. Now some people would say, well, why don't we simply assign the tag to the missile as well? The only issue is it would put it first, and you'd actually fire normal bullets from your missile. That's not what we want. But the bug fix is easy, so don't worry. So what we're going to do is drag out from our resources prefab ships our two ships. So there's one, there's two. And what we're going to do is open up and click both missile ones. And we're going to go tags, add tag, and instead of weapon spawn point, we're going to simply type missile spawn point. So tag on both, like so, and then we'll re prefab them because that's now a word. Yes. So we've assigned them both. Now, if we go back, um, Weapon already registered, don't worry about that. If we go back to our character and go to our space fire, now what we need to do is basically where it loads spawn points here, we also need to tell it to load our missile spawn points. And it's really simple to do. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of these here and make this really short by just getting rid of the brackets there. So, four lines to do all our guns. So, we can note that. Um, guns, yeah. So I'm going to duplicate all of this and paste it here, like so. And I'm going to change it to missiles. So instead of spawn points, we'll have M spawn points. And then it'll find missile spawn point tags. Then instead of bullet spawn points, we need it to find missile spawn points. So we duplicate it, missile, just like that. So missile spawn points. And instead of spawn points, it's finding M spawn points because we just assigned it, then M spawns at spawn points again, blah, 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 and we're just basically linking it up. That's it. So now it will come down and say, add all of our guns to there. Okay, it's done it. Now what? It'll come down after that and go, right, find all the missile spawn points with a tag, which we've tagged already, so it'll find it. It'll increase this size to what the size it should be. We could just use a list, but I'm not going into lists yet. And then, for blah blah blah, it adds it to it. So that's it. The only other thing we've got to do is now assign it to when we press it. So when we number 3 and we fire, it files the missile bullet at bullet spawn point 2, which doesn't exist. But, missile spawn point 0 does exist. So it'll fire that. And then all this is the same. Correct? That's it. Really. That's it. So if we click play and fire, You'll see on here, it'll add bullet spawn points, missile spawn points, and equip them all. Um, that's really easy to fix. So all it's basically saying there is because we've got VAR I there and VAR I there, it doesn't understand. It's really easy to fix. We can just literally put VAR I int right there and then get rid of it. And that's using one variable for multiple reasons because it resets it back to zero every single time. Easy, right? In C Sharp, that's actually better because you can actually create the variable twice because it deletes it after, but it doesn't in JavaScript, which is weird. But yeah, so you should see bullet spawn points and missile spawn points. Perfect. As you can see, missile spawn points and weapon spawn points. One, two, three. Perfect. So we're going to fix a couple more bugs. Another bug I noticed, which doesn't seem to be working, is if we press game escape pause. and try to move, it doesn't game let started. us move. Whereas before, it used to let me move. Ah, that's annoying. But hey, does it work? No, it disables it. Looks like I found a weird bug, but yeah. Game so that works. Game pause. Game we already know that. The next thing I want to fix is... Ooh, the overheating time. So if we press 3 and fire twice, it overheats. But the thing is, the time is so long. It's 2,000. And roughly since I've been talking about it to now, it's probably got to about 500. So as you can see, it's really over, well, under weakened, if you wish. So if we go to our GUI scripts and click on screen actions, you can see it's set to 2,000. 
Now, I've tested it before, and actually, 700 to 600 is a really good time. But what you want to do is take it down and also increase here. So, 700, 700. And that's actually a really good time because it's not too much that you're going to die really quickly. But then it's not easy that you can fire, 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 wait a second and fire again. So, if we fire two missiles, because it takes six up each time. Now, you can see they've both gone that way. It's red. It's red, still red, and any minute now, well, second, there, we can fire again. Whereas the other one would have to double that length and a little bit. So as you can see, it's quite long. So that's another bug. So, as I said, it was going to be a short tutorial, and it really is a short tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to not add anything yet new into our game yet. We're going to keep bug fixing it until... We can start from the main menu on our scene. Uh, where is it? Levels, main menu. Save everything, don't forget. We're going to keep playing until we can click play on here. And we can go through every single level. And as you can see, we've got errors here already. See? Errors already. Well, there's a warning, but still. So we need to fix all these bugs. And any bug we find, we're going to go through and fix. Until we can click play game, Cre see what I mean? Squash them like. I am at your command. It's sir. not working right, so we need to make it work. But that's all we're gonna do. So hopefully, by before 200th video, we've bug fixed it and it works. Easily should be able to. So what I'm gonna do is test it. Any bugs are fine. I'm gonna note down and note down and note down, and then we're just gonna tick them off as we go along. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please thumbs up if you did like the bug fix videos, thumbs down if you didn't, but if you do thumbs down, just tell me why please, because then I can improve. Um, anything else to say? Nope, see you later.